Okay, guys, I know this isn't as fantastic as I just have my computer here, but the moment I've been waiting for, the following swaps, uh, loaded pocket swaps, are going to start being revealed right now. Um, it actually is Wednesday when I'm recording, and I think 10 or 11 of them are already in, so then, of course, in the next few days, I'll get more and more. I told you guys they would be uh, pre-recorded, so I can put things away, because it is a little bit more gangly, I think, than other swaps that I've done. And then we'll do a live premiere, so I should be in the chat, and hopefully you guys are too, and we can chat there. But really quickly, I have a few things uh, I want to go over, and I know it looks boring because it's just my screen, but I just wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page as far as the rules. I made very long videos about this swap, the following loaded pocket swap, and the other one too, the case swap, of course. But there were a few things that I've already noticed that may have been um, overlooked, and most of it was the way things were sent in, like I said, send it in however you want. You don't have to have the flat rate, uh, flat rate padded envelope, which is what I'll be sending them back in. But I did ask that people, a couple things. Uh, they, they can't be too bulky, right? So, you know, we'll try to work on that. And it looks like most of the sizing, sizing is right. That they need to be the actual pocket that I created, right? The construction, sizing, and basic components. Of course, we have some basic com components. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Like, I'm going to go through everything. Um, this part right here. I said, how you send it in is up to you, and I said that in the video too, right, the tutorials. However, please include a chipboard or cardboard support for your swap, right, because I didn't want them to get smashed, because if you put in an envelope, even a padded envelope, it can still get smashed. Padded envelope does have a little bit more sternness, but I've noticed some of them were just kind of put in the envelope, like a big envelope, and they did get smashed, so without the chipboard, you know, they were just put in there. And that's an issue. So, so depending on um, how smashed they might be, um, either I'm going to swap them or I'm not going to swap them, right? So maybe one's smashed, one's the other one's not. I don't know. I took a quick peek. You guys know how I do. I just kind of open it just to make sure nothing's like exploded. So this time around, I didn't really tell people that their swap came in safely. I just said, your swap has arrived. <laughs> so, because uh, I, I don't really know. I didn't look at it close enough. And then people say, hey, you told me it was safe. And, you know, now you're showing me this crush thing, you know. <laughs> that's not uh, what I was doing. Um... And then our basic thing, it has to be the pocket the way I showed it to you guys. I asked you guys to use the sturdiest paper you have so that it would, you know, the whole thing of the pocket really for me is that it's going to help keep your swap safe and the things that are inside are really what's important. So I'm not, you know, just hopefully everything's okay. Um, so, yeah, if yours was just kind of thrown in and it doesn't have a support and it got smashed, if there's other people who did the same thing and theirs got smashed, I will swap you guys together regardless of what names I'm pulling. Um... Or if there's rule breakers, right? But if you, you know, follow the rules and they got a little bit smashed anyway, that's a different story. But honestly, um, it was written there and I said it in the video and I guess some people just uh, missed that. Uh, and again, hopefully, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen any that haven't been a little bit smashed if they didn't have <laughs> some kind of support. Um, two altered and stuffed embell embellishment pockets, right? And then we're going to decorate the pocket. Of course, it has to be the same sizing, the same construction I showed you guys this time around. They'll each have uh, three die-cut and assembled bows or three handmade rosettes, right? And then you need to package them in a way that they're not, like, flying around everywhere. So I kind of showed you guys how to do that, but however you want, as long as they're not just scattered around in the swap. Um, each pocket will have the altered memo notepad, of course, with at least two to three embellishments on there. Each pocket will have uh, one handmade or altered tag, and it has to have at least two or three, again, embellishments or items on it. Each pocket will have at least one tablespoon of shaker mix, and it has to be created with at least three different glitter, sequin, spangle, whatever it is, and then package it cute, right? Uh, each pocket will contain five die cuts, and these are all minimum, so if you include ten die cuts, but they fit nicely, that's fine. It's the minimum of five, whatever size, style, whatever, you know, obviously it has to fit your um, following uh, theme, uh, which can be, you know, again, harvest, fall... Halloween, whatever you, however you interpret following. And then please add at least one extra embellishment, like a dangle or a paper, altered paper clip or a tassel or things like that. Um, so there were, you know, several rules, of course, things we needed to follow. And um, we will just get started. Okay, so I just wanted to go over that real quick because I know sometimes in the past, it's been a while since I did a swap, but in the past people would say, oh, why... Uh, oh, sorry. Whenever I would do the swap, sometimes I would just not put the names in that get pulled that broke the swap, and they're like, hey, I didn't hear my name, so what happened, or whatever kind of thing. So I think most time people know already what might be the issue. But um, you can still ask, uh, you know, at the end of the series. We're just starting out today, and I'm super excited. They're so cute, you guys. Just taking the peek that I, that I take, I'm like, 
just super excited. So let me put this away and let's start uh, going through them. I'll go through mine first and I go through very quickly since you guys pretty much already saw mine literally step by step <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Okay guys so this is my swap and with all that being said thank you guys so much. I mean you know, it was a really quick turnaround and I appreciate each and every one of you joining and um yeah, I mean, it was just, it's just so much fun to take a little sneak peek and see kind of what's what's arriving, and it's just all so gorgeous. So this is one of mine that's all packaged up, and that's what it's going to look like. This one, I didn't put the top back on because I figured I was going to show it to you guys anyway. But you guys already know what this is about. You saw mine, like I said, step by step. You know, I have my dangle. I do have an altered paper clip. I have some extra goodies on this other than just the layering on the pocket. Um, I have my die cuts with a little, you know, clippy. I have my memo pad, which I had shown you guys. I really don't want to take everything out again. <laughs> you guys had seen it. You saw a whole video on it. Here's my uh, glitter mix. Um, again, three or more glitters, and of course there's spangles, and there's tons of different spangles in there. Um, and then my cute little, just a little, this is another extra. <laughs> Um, to decorate with. Remember that it was just required one item, but I put quite a few. I do not go through everyone's swap like this. I'm just kind of showing mine and talking about that. If, or with everyone else's, I'll just show what they sent, okay? So, um, my tag is here, and here are my bows, and I will show you really quickly. I did change them up a little bit. I made my little strip a little bit shorter so it wasn't bending while it was in there. Uh, so basically seven inches tall, because this is seven inches tall. And then I added a little creature in the middle of each of the bows. And these guys, I just found these at Walmart. Look how cute. This is 3D spider confetti. I'm like, confetti? Because they're like literally plastic and they're so small. I'm like, that is so cute. So I grabbed a pack of those and I popped that on there. So that is my swap. I know it doesn't seem like much because I'm just like, hey, there, you know, <laughs> we've seen it. So I didn't feel like I need to go over that too much again. And then I'm just um, closing it up inside this bag. And then I'll put the topper on it just like this one, okay? So, let's get to it. Um, oh, this one, okay. So, I am just have some boxes up here. I had mentioned, if I just gotten there. I had mentioned that if you're sending your item in a box, I'll just cut a piece off of this and stick it into the flat rate um, padded envelope when I send it out. Otherwise, whatever you put in your flat rate, in your envelope, if you send it in an envelope um, to keep it sturdy, I will use that in your swap, right? So I'll just take it out of the one that you sent in and I'll put it into your new one and then that will be helping protect your swap. If you did not include something to help protect your swap, if I have time, I'll try and include something, but generally I just, it's just boom, 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 you know, as I go along. Um, but uh, this is from Tammy Jones and she did include also a chipboard board, but I just wanna show you how pretty this was when I opened it up. I'm like, oh, so pretty, you guys, look at everything in there. And, um, okay. That's why I don't show boxes, because then I'm like showing addresses or other things. Okay, so you guys saw how gorgeous her swaps are. <laughs> she included lots of protection, lots of protective pieces, like if they need some for in here. That's really, really sweet. Thank you. And there's a little something here. Oh my gosh, so she did include one for me. And you know what? I know she's very generous, and so this is probably to help other people out with theirs um, if they need it, you know, that sturdiness. So. Perhaps I'll use some of those too, and then on her own. I feel like my camera is staying really up high. Like I can't get any closer because it's close and this is far. Hmm. All right, we'll see. Um, she has a little note here for me. So cute, little clip, look at that. Um, happy Halloween, look how gorgeous this card is. I'm here for the candy. So again, fun time crafts with Tammy Jones. Oh my gosh, 247, sorry. Thank you. And then she has her postage and return address in here. Oh my gosh, Tammy. <laughs> she sent me quite a, a large amount. And she says, I'm not doing this on purpose. I didn't have change. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, get some supplies and things with that. Um, okay, so she has her three gorgeous um, ones here. Little cute this out here. I was going to say, if some end up being a little bit bulkier because of the way it's packaged, which, you know, it may or may not fit perfectly. I might have to take it apart a little bit to make it work. Um, but if it's just too big, then, you know, we're not going to be doing that. But really nice the way she kept that in there so it wouldn't get damaged. And look at this stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can use, obviously, for something else. Thank you so much, Time for sending one for me. I'm assuming it could be any of them. Yeah. And so she has here created for you, Tammy Jones, Fun Time Crafts there. 
and let's open up this gorgeous swap here. I'm really glad I'm doing this actually in real time but not live because honestly I think it'll take me a minute to uh, go through everything and then package it back if I need to, right? Oh my gosh. Look at this. So what's so fun about the Lotus? And also, actually loading it up really helps keep things nice and compact, like where they were placed. So that's always really nice. She has this cute uh, pattern paper right here, little uh, doily, this gorgeous like cabochon type of button with some uh, pom-pom trim, the little spider, some lace here. And first up right here, she has a cute little um, altered paper clip with a little 3D kind of um, pumpkin there. Super cute. And then, oh, oh, <laughs> you know, at the Dollar Tree, they had, um, what are those things called? Uh, la, la, la. solar lights that were like a pumpkin or whatever. I'm like, how cute would that be to just put in there? But I knew it was going to be too bulky, but look how cute. Cause it's nice and thin profile and really cute little, um, addition there in our, uh, pocket. And again, this is an embellishment, I would say an extra embellishment. Uh, and then our little memo pad. Oh my goodness. So cute, perfect size wrapper on that one. And she has a little kind of eyelash trim and then a cute little pumpkin pen with her little uh, witchy poo over here and then the little ribbon. And I'm opening this up completely because this is for me, so I'm able to kind of thumb through it as much as I'm doing. Thank you. Let me put this guy back in here. Oh, okay. See, I took a quick peek because, um, and this is a little mix of like Fimo's and I'm not sure if that's her glitter mix or however or her shaker mix. I keep saying glitter mix. It's shaker mix because whatever it is that you put in there. Sometimes people put confetti in other pieces obviously to make a shaker mix. But look how cute. The little test tube and then she decorated it there and put this little candy corn charm which is adorable. Oh my gosh. On top. Really, really cute. Thank you. Another altered paper clip with that cute rosette with the, you know, that was one thing I want to do next with the rosettes is just adding some glitter. So she added like some crystal kind of chunkiness all around. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh. And then her tag. Hold on, I think. Yes. So cute with the little uh, charm on here. It has a 23 and then she has like some little stuff stapled on here. She has cute trims all, um, Holding the tag there, curious things. How cute is that? And there's held down with Brad's. And then the cute little <laughs> cat, I just noticed her eyes. Adorable, thank you. Ooh, a book with a cute little tassel on here. Eyelash trim, all decorated with all kinds of fun things. Oh, these are her die cuts, you guys. How cute, what a cute presentation. So she has them kind of almost like a little scene here, but the little sticker I think is on the outside and then she has the die cuts layered up here with the haunted house. Oh my gosh, the little characters that are so cute. Look at these cats, I love their tails. Oh my gosh, oh, so pretty. And then the little uh, Stamps of Life um, spider, I would recognize her anywhere. Look how cute, oh my gosh. And then this cool kind of mansion there with the cutouts. And then like a little um, scene frame. So cute. What a cute idea. Oh, and then look at this. I mean, this is like um, photo album holder stuff. Very, very inventive. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, this is her glitter okay, mix. For sure, I'm going to say the wrong thing over and over again. But it's the shaker mix. And she has like little black beads and silver beads and uh, orange hearts. The spangles, the inner side of those spangles. There's sequins in here. There's clear hearts. There's like little black or kind of gunmetal sequins. I see kind of white or opalescent sequins. There's like beads in there. There is a ton of just really Halloween-y looking uh, shaker mix. That's so cute. I love that we should put on this little stir stick. Um, and this is... I would say just a little extra because it's just like an applique, a sticky back applique. What is, oh, it's juicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, it feels juicy like how cute. And it has like a little mix in there. An applique. <gasps> cute. Thank you. And then this is her, uh, or these are her, excuse me, rosettes, which again, three rosettes or three bows. And look how gorgeous these are. I mean, layered up with tulle and then like the foiling paper in the back of this one. Uh, lots of trims, different kinds of trims on there. We have a little pumpkin topper, all the same kind of, um, well, not the same, but like eyelash trim and the background paper there. All kinds of cute layers on this top part. If you can see, there's a couple different layers there. And then this little guy with a cute um, jagged edge and then she put like glitter on those edges, the eyelash trim and the boo and spooky. How cute. Packaged really lovely. Oh my goodness. 
And then on the back she has a little message, which I think I forgot to put on my... I'm just, I was just going to put a little sticker on the outside. So I can still do that. This little piece here, there's like... Oh, a little piece of paper. There's like some cool um, mesh trim that has a kind of holographic dots. And then what do we have here? Oh my goodness! <laughs> These are so fun! Oh, So again, uh, you know... Obviously, these things are extra. Thank you so much, Tammy. Oh my gosh. What a sweet, sweet swap and loaded pocket. My goodness. Thank you for including one for me. Um, I saw that several of you did as I went through. I'm like, oh, there's three in here. Yay! Because I'm honestly, uh, thank you. I mean, it was not required. It's not necessary. And I really appreciate it, though, because <laughs> I like getting a little something. Um, okay, let me put this uh, up and then we'll move on to the next one. Thanks, Tammy. Let me try to mention where people are from because I know people are curious of that because see how far they've traveled and things. Uh, from Montana? MT? Mer? I don't know. This next one is from Sherry Bilak from Elizabethville, Pennsylvania. And she also has her cases in here, so I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right stuff for this. And I know there's a little note in here for me, so... Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is for this swap or the other one. So let me open this up right quick. She has a card in here. Um, oh, that's so pretty. It's that Michael's paper. Look how cute. Oh, and she put a little extra, like, little body part with the uh, sequins on the little bats. Um, thank you. So, yeah, this is actually, this is her shipping for the one. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking in the box. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, I'm not sure if that one's for this one or for the next one. So I'm sorry, Sherry, but thank you. Look at that. So she also sent in three loaded pockets. And uh, let's open this one up. They all look super identical. So cool. A little paper clip there. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. How pretty. It's a double stepper kind of card like it's fun folded and then it has another one going over the top that is really really cool and then she has her little note there for or her her little note and then the uh postage but oh uh, thank you so much i was taking a moment to read those to myself in a little bit okay so let's unload this loaded pocket <laughs> so uh on front here she has like a split this is like a shaker i don't know if you can see that um from like a cool like uh art deco kind of window or something and then down here I don't know if you can see the little uh, ghosties and I guess skeletons really that on here are all kind of old school looking but like fabulous that goes along with that really well look at this the little pen oh my gosh I love the little hanger on here with the little key and she has this cuteness on here <laughs> she put like eyeballs on the uh, little skeleton with the die cut and then some um, tool and that's her little post-it holder so cute oh my goodness oh my gosh i didn't even notice that hand look how cute oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> you guys oh that is adorable oh thank you sherry oh i bet you a little hand glows in the dark too and she has a little um gems like you know beads on here clearly and then here she has like a little glitter and then the little styrofoam head with purple eyes <laughs> i love it or skull i guess i should call it um okay Ooh! oh my goodness this is her glitter. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Look at the packaging. I love it. This is her glitter mix, you guys. And the little coffin. Oh my gosh. From uh, Diamond Press. And then she cut a little opening and that is so genius. The heart. Oh my gosh. With the tool. You guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, it says open. <gasps> Sherry. That is the cutest, and look at how ingenious. Oh my gosh, I'm totally taking that idea. <laughs> I love the way it just opens up like that. And this is her mix, and there's all kinds of spangles and like table scatter type stuff and sequins of all different colors and spooky, the word spooky, and like pumpkin shapes. And I mean, there's like little stars in there that I can see, and there's like uh, payettes and all kinds of fun shapes. Oh my goodness. Sherry, that is so cute. I'm going to put it back in here, because and nothing even came out. Look at that. Even in the bag, nothing slipped out of there, so very good. I love it. And here's her tag. It says, Happy Halloween. A little ghosty, a little lantern. Oh, is it a lantern from Studio Light? I, I know I got a lantern recently. I haven't used it yet, but I love the look of that. With the little um, spider, and then she put some little marabou. Is that what that stuff's called? <laughs> it's called marabou, something like that. Really cute tag. Thank you so much. 
And then here, oh, okay. So we have our rosettes and she did a mix of one bow and two rosettes. Oh my gosh, look at this bow. It looks all like antique and cool guy with the paper that she used. And then it has a little uh, gray flower in the center with that holographic paper, double layered. I don't know if you can see that. And then her rosettes are just gorgeous. Look at this one with the little beautiful um, stamped and embossed. The little, again, heart pieces are like little um, hand, like skeleton hand. Cute little heart. I see tool in here, another layer, and then the rosette part. The rosette here, and she has all this layered up with a little scene. It says Fright Night. I love that. Oh my gosh. And then look how cute that she used a big gem for like the moon. Love it. And the little cat. Oh my goodness. That is like a perfect little cat for that. A little perfect little cat for that. And then these are her die cuts. Packaged so lovely. Oh, and she included these guys. You know, I was thinking, I'm like, should we do a swap where we have to exchange like 3D kind of objects? But then I was like, I don't know. If we... But that kind of thing where it's flat, you know, you send it off and then the person can assemble it or however. That is so cute. Thank you so much. I can see different pieces in there. There's like um, wood fencing. Again, the lantern a few different times in blacks and purple and silver colors. And then the little... Um, ghosts like glitter ghosts there's pumpkins there's these gorgeous flowers rolled flowers and layered flowers that she created my goodness see she got a lot in there and then look how cute the lace on there lovely oh my gosh thank you so much sherry and there's her info i don't know if i need to put everyone's email but i love the little skeleton on there and she decorated the back too okay i'm gonna put this up and thank you thanks again sherry for joining and for sending one for me also okay guys, lovely. this one is from cecilia spencer and oh i should probably bring them out <laughs> before i start but oh so she also sent in three so of course one is for me and i don't know that it yeah so i'll just pick one so i was just kind of pick the one in the center oh i was like gonna grab it <laughs> it's inside the bag <laughs> silly girl i was like a cat over here <laughs> see what's going on there cute bags oh my gosh really really cute Thank you so much, Cecilia. Thanks for joining us and sending one for me. There we go. Let's open up. Again, like I said, it's not required. Please do not feel bad if you did not. I know this was a tight turnaround and, you know, work. And, oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. Um, I've seen these. Where have I seen these? Moseroth. Anyway, Prevat Chocolatiers. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yummy Yummy. And then she has a little card in here. And I hope I'm opening the right one. Yeah, because I don't see anything else over here. So, happy Halloween. Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. Look at the embossing on it, the way she did the um, inking around the edge. I'm assuming that's inking. That's, like, perfect. Hello, crafty friend. That is so pretty. Thank you. Oh, she has a stamp that has her name. Lovely, lovely. So let me just put this back over here. I just want to check to make sure. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Um, oh, look at this big boy. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. You can put that in a book or just put it on whatever. I mean, I love the size of this jumbo clip. So fresh potions made to order. How cute is this? I love the dye on that, too. It's perfect. It looks like a sign. And then she has a little witch and then the cup. Uh, the little witch. Witch's broom is what I was going to say, and I just moved on. <laughs> so, so cute. Thank you. And then here's her post-it. With the little feathers, all very witchy, very fallish with like a little maple on here, just a note. How pretty are those? Oh, I love the color of these notepads. How cute, thank you. And so then this is her tag here. Look at that with like all kinds of special effects on this background piece. It's like embossed, it has like cool sparkles on it. She has her leaves that are all um, tricked out with like different sparkles and prettiness, you can see. And then the stamping and um, embossing there. Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. Oh, by Bronte. You know, it's funny because I think Emily Bronte, don't they? They're like sisters, and I think Emily is probably the more famous one, but like, I don't know, apparently some of her sisters were more talented, but we, <laughs> you know, we always think of Emily Bronte. But anyway, something like that. Um, look how pretty this... Oh. Look at this embossed paper back here that she stamped and embossed. I love that image. <gasps> Is that one of those background ones? I don't know. It looks familiar. Um, that was the impression obsession. But and these are her uh, rosettes. How cute is that? You know, what? I'll take it up. They're a little bit layered on top of each other. And since this is mine, I will totally open it. Um, look at. It. Oh my gosh! Happy fall, y'all. You gotta be kidding. How cute is that? 
I love how they're different sizes, they have different edgings, and then they go together with the, and then they have a little loop so you can hang them up or do whatever you like with them. That is so cute. Okay, I'm not going to try to put those back in there, so let me put them over here for now. Actually, I'll put them right here so you guys can keep looking at them. Um, and then here's her Halloween mix. Really cute. I love the little packaging. I like the way she put the two little, um, uh, Baker's Twine together for that following mix. And then we have like peach, um, you know, sequins. I see like holographic orange sequins. There's little tiny gold sequins. There's like some greenish colors. Really, really pretty. So it all just comes together and makes a beautiful fall kind of color. Some solid ones. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Black sequins in there. What a pretty mix. Thank you. <laughs> Rest in peace, die cuts. 31. Look at that. To even do all the little lettering for this. I mean, this tag right here could have been the tag already you know as well she did that so lovely and then with the number 31 on there and then she has that cute little ribbon and then these are her 31 die cuts I'll pull some out just because it's in a glass scene so it's harder to see but she has like that cool owl I was just wondering I'm like I didn't use any of the Anna Griffin um dies that I recently got I should have lovely let's see real quick here oh look at the little fall drinks I love them those are so pretty layered up it looks like right with layering um stamps and then die cut there and look at this oh my goodness this is gorgeous are these tim holtz i'm just throwing names out there i don't know but that looks like his style and i remember something about layering something or other coming out <laughs> recently <laughs> the caramel apple look at the stick you guys oh my gosh thank you this is so cute and then lots of gorgeous um, leaves that she had used like for her tag and then like hello autumn and some other gorgeous things i can see there's a little tiny stamped up things there too my goodness oh just gorgeous and then i'll show you a little more of her box super sturdy you know another guy had told me she put hers on um um uh, cereal box just to make it sturdier and i can see hers are like a couple really thick sturdy papers all together which as you can see i mean it came out perfect so thank you and look at the whole scene she put on the back oh my gosh you guys thank you guys thank you oh my goodness um all right Cecilia thank you so much and thanks for sending one for me I'm gonna put these back in here and grab the next so, one uh I just realized I didn't mention where Cecilia was from because I had taken her address off the top because she wrapped it in brown paper her package so uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania East Pittsburgh that is <laughs> so this one is from Tamika Morris out of Garner North Carolina and let's open this guy up it looks like they're both in one um package here let's see that looks like it goes over there i'm not sure if that goes here or there but we will see very soon um i'll just take them both out just in case just in case like this goes here or there okay so this is tamika's swap thanks for joining us again tamika and here we have um her post-it holder oh you know what i'm not gonna open them when they belong to you guys honestly i don't really want to open them but she has it on a um back piece right like with the thick paper there and that cute plaid and then her post-it notes are like a cool blue on, and then on top of that we have the forever fall with the little pumpkins and butterflies and these little wood veneers really cute plaid i love that plaid paper so cute so there's that i would say this is her info so we have a little card with her little info there um and then these are oh her sequin mix what a gorgeous mix very fall with the beautiful little butterflies there, but it says fall days are my favorite. So, of course, you can use that uh, piece there. And her sequins are all different colors of green, just like the richest, like bronze and like a creamy color, a sea, you know, clear, like opalescent, kind of like a very light green. Not quite mint, but just a very light green. Really pretty. And then she included a little uh, chipboard piece here. And then on the outside, well, we'll look at that once we get everything out. Here are her little sweet bows. Oh, my goodness. So, we have our different layers. There's some little something here um with a little glitter in the center with all the different paper this paper pack is gorgeous uh, with the cute little like metal charms in the center this one has like a little heart in the center oh so sweet thank you oh and here's your tag more pumpkins please <laughs> how cute is that with the different little like uh, embellishments she has the falling leaves chipboard piece with that cute um what would you call this it's not embroidery floss it's thicker it looks like it's woven really cool stuff gorgeous gorgeous papers and then here it looks like it's a pop-up kind of card like if I were to open it and pop it up like this it would be like a pop-up kind of card so she included a card and there's a few different little bits in here so let me put this back in here and look at how she decorated this with a cute little piece it's like a little resin piece she has a dangle over here 
with all kinds of cute items on there. Different color beads. I love that little jack-o'-lantern. Little, like, um, gem chips there. There's always something to be thankful. And I just want to see it look like it came out. Okay. And then out here she has, like, a chipboard piece with, like, little, um, uh, rhinestones. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is the kind of thing that's what I was saying. I'll take time to put it back away so it all makes sense when you have everything there. And I believe then these are probably her die cuts because I don't remember seeing die cuts quite yet. So let me just make sure of that. Yep. Okay. So this is like this. And this one's over here. Okay. So her die cut pieces, as you can see, have like little characters. I think that's a ghost back there. And so you can kind of see that there are at least five in there and they are super cute <laughs> again I feel bad to open it. I don't want to open it it's okay so we'll put that in there I just don't want everything to be kind of manhandled for the next person you know for the person that this is actually their swap so let's just put those things thank you so much Tamika and um, I'll grab the next one from Yolanda Sanchez out of Bryan Texas it's been a while like I used to remember where people were from just because they were joined the swaps and I know Yolanda has been with us quite a bit um, but these are her swap. <laughs> Look at the little mummy. So cute. And she has a card here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a spinner. Yeah, that must be that new Tim Holtz stuff, right? It looks very Tim Holtzy with all those different layers. And oh my gosh. You guys, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll put that back in there. And I always put the card back in the bag. So I know I have the postage. So there it goes. And I will open one of these guys up. Let's open this one. There we go. Sorry. See, this is kind of why I don't want to even open them either. <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, let's stick that back on there. Okay, I'll get that back on there. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's try to see what all is going on here. <laughs> She has a Halloween cozy on here. It says, I'm here for the booze. <laughs> you get it? Okay. So we'll put that in there. Oh, we'll get this back in there too. Oh my goodness, Yolanda. So she included a little extra thing here. It is the Tim Holtz Spencer Colorize um, uh, Skull. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? Thank you. That's so nice. Um, and then out here we have... I, was, I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. He's on the tag, you guys. Look how cute. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Okay. So she put a little sticky just to keep it kind of looking nice, you know? Um, so we have our little guy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is little... Um, what are the things? They call those things? I don't say bubble things, but that's not what they're called. I'll think of it later. Um, so then we have our little spider, the little coffin with the outside uh, ooze there. Um, and then she put a bunch of cute like fibers there on the top. Oh my goodness. And this is her memo pad. It has a little frightful punched out. Uh, I don't know if it's sick or if she punched it out, but it looks very great either way. She has a little uh, diamond press. It looks like ephemera and then some little pearls there. And that is her notepad. Oh, you know, all these things out like this. Oh, yeah, no, these are, um, like, punched words. Really, really cute. She included a cute little um, rosette just as a decoration there. And then out here she has curious things like a metal plate and then the little, um, oh, I wonder if she made this. It looks like a button she probably had made. <gasps> How cool. Oh, my gosh. Like a button topper thing. We have a cool little owl in here. So that's a die cut. And look at this. <laughs> little cauldron I know it's hard to see in there but there's a little cauldron with like a little bubbling brew in there and then she has a really fine web we have some layered pumpkins I can see some like pine cone type things maybe a witch's hat so lovely and here are her three bows which they have double layers and then cute little rhinestones in the center along with that little band in the center that really cute oh my gosh she included a little um, die cut border so I'll leave that there and down in here is her little glitter mix. Oh my gosh, how cute is that with the word potions? Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's back on here. Ah! The little twine. And look how cute in the little glass jar. She has stars and like larger um, flat kind of... Not se well, I guess sequins because there's a hole in the center. But a uh, little black sequins. There's like... Oh my gosh, there's like diamond rhinestone type things in here. Flat back ones. Um, and little silver pieces 
all kinds of different shapes and sizes of circle and star, should I say. All kinds of shapes of sizes of circle and star. <laughs> you guys, I'm already losing it. I'm already losing it. All right, uh, let me tuck this back in. So I'll put this one away. And thank you so much, Yolanda, for joining us again. This is super cute. I will be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, this one is from Kathy Fox out of Glendale, Arizona. Let's bring hers out. Hey, that's pretty good, Kathy. She has three in here. And they look great, and they're in the flat, you know, padded envelope, and she did include a cardboard in there, and that all helps. I mean, look at that. I wouldn't imagine you can get three in there. She did, and they look perfect. So, uh, for v &A, the swaps are the same. I had a blast making them. Thank you, Kathy Fox. So, thank you so much, Kathy. This is her first time with us. I know that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart, but how cute. So, you know, I added extra ribbons in mine. This is another sweet way to do that, so people can still use them. I mean, look how many ribbons she added on here to tie it off. I love those. I'm going to put them right here. And I'll, you'll be seeing those soon. <laughs> Let's put these to the side. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for including one for me. Honestly, this makes it very easy to go through. It's really nice. Thank you. Um, okay. So, in the back here. Aww. Oh, look at that. Trick or Treat Hammy by Kathy 1032. Is that the collab? It looks like something where she went, you know what I'm saying? To get that printed, unless she just printed it. That's awesome. Look at the card. Oh my goodness. I haven't used my Anna Griffin, um, this thing. <laughs> Trellis or what was it called? What was it called? What was it called, Trellis? I don't know. That doesn't sound right. But um, look how cute. And she made it spooky with the little spiders in here and little uh, mummy and things. Oh my gosh. And then she has her uh, postage in here. Just so pretty. I just want to show you guys that. How gorgeous. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, and you can see her little box already as I start bringing things out. Oh my goodness. So she included a little washi. You know what's funny? I have this washi. Where is it from? Is it from Daiso? I feel like I have this washi. That is so cute. Love it. Um, look at the little happy Halloween. The little mummy. Oh my goodness. And then the cute little Halloween paper. And she, um, has background paper. So that's, you know, um pattern paper that she put on top there really really cute thank you so much let me put this over here and then here are her glitter mix again sequin oh, i was gonna say sequin mix again shaker mix <laughs> you guys you know what my kids uh my son goes to um judo and stuff jujitsu whatever they call it, boxing all that stuff and Miranda likes to go and watch so now they're over there and now it's like the end of the day and I'm just like really hot under these lights and I think I'm losing it so all right let's I was like you know what it's probably better that I do this in the morning like I usually do <laughs> which usually I get kind of lost on those anyway but that's okay um lots of mix again it was at least a tablespoon right was part of the uh, rolls there so she has like paillettes in here she has like sequins she has stars she has um like shiny sequins clear ones there's beads in here like some matte colored beads or matte orange beads should I say matte color uh orange little shiny beads um these like kind of green um I always call them paillettes but I guess hexes or hexagons Oh my gosh, little stars. There's little clear hearts in there. Super sweet. Oh, the paper pack. Again, this is the um, craft consortium paper that I used on some of my items there. She has a little altered paper clip with a cute little... Um, it's really sturdy. Feels good. Uh, with a little uh, jack-o'-lantern with his little hat on there. Oh, look at her bows. How sweet. Okay, hold on. Oh, very interesting. She used all the little clippies to keep them like on there nice, you know? So look at this one with the little dog, well, I was say dog bones. I assume they're skeleton bones. <laughs> this one with the red with the white and black dots. And then the um, spider paper. This paper feels really cool. It has a really nice thickness and sheen to it. And then she has all the little clippies. Little skull clippy here. Paper clips, so cute. Glow in the dark ghost. Oh my goodness. Let's open this up. So these, I believe, are her die cuts. Oh my goodness. And they are glow-in-the-dark ghosts. I know, I can't really... I don't know if you can see that because I have too many lights. <laughs> they are. They have that little greenish-yellow look to them, you know what I'm saying? Also, they probably need to be charged by some light. But I guess these aren't all of them. She just included that because I see die cuts back here. Her beautiful tag uh, with the little witchy and the little background, that gold foil. It says, hey, pumpkin. I love the hey and the script and then pumpkin over here with that different type of uh, writing there. You know, I call this script and the other day somebody was talking about cursive and script and script being this kind of thing. And I was like, I thought script was cursive. Because even when I used to buy my um, 
well, I used to, I still do, <laughs> by my antique typewriters. There's some that type in cursive, and they're called script typewriters, so I don't know. Uh, little fibers on the top. The paper is gorgeous back there. Is that the Crafter's Companion auto ship? It looks like, or that's what it reminds me of. Just beautiful. Lovely and layered there. And look at all her die cuts. I love this one. Oh my goodness. Look at his hands. The skeleton. Uh, tis, the se tis the season to be spooky. I don't know why this one always trips me up whenever I was doing the reviews for Die Impress. I got it wrong every time. And I said it how many times? Like five, six, however many videos I had made. Uh, frames are in there. I can see, ooh, there's a raven or a crow there. And then this like... Um, border with the um, webs there. She has the 31st and some other words in here. Really sweet. Thank you so much. And then look at her dangle. Oh my gosh, Kathy, and you were nervous. Look at this. <laughs> She's like, oh, because it's her first one, you know. Um, look at the little coffin. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, Day of the Dead. Look at that. Oh my. Oh, there's a little witch on her broom. Just gorgeous, and you can see all the decorations she put on the box there. So I'm going to package this back up for myself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy, for joining us, for taking a chance, you know, and uh, and clear one for me. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. One more tonight because it is blazing in here for some reason. It wasn't even hot today. I don't know. This one's from Rhonda Sylvester out of Sacramento, California. And she has a little tag here for me for the postage. <laughs> so pretty. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Okay, so I'm going to open this one. <laughs> I can see on the back she has a huge rosette. That is so cute. And then that uh, bat, I chose purple bats and she has the black one here. Oh my goodness. So that's just in there as a extra thing. Oh, it's magnetic. She has, has a little magnet back on that. So her um, shaker mix popped out. So I can see all these different tube beads and different colors. I can see sequins in there of all different colors. Um, very fall related I would say gold and greens and like kind of like a wine color <laughs> it's just spooky the little um cut by hand I assume after she stamped that that is so cute so there's her mix and then here is her memo pad I suppose let's see because it says right on oh my gosh you know what did you do this on the cricket that's what it looks like so it has right on and then it has a little image cut there oh my goodness and then there's her butterfly memo pad. Oh, let me pop this back in here. You know what? Actually, I'll do it later. <laughs> and then she included a little lemonade, a little drink for you. Very sweet. And then in here, it looks like we have our rosettes. Oh, you know what? That big one on the back, I am assuming, is... No, no, she has more stuff over here. Okay, so she has a big rosette and then this, like, uh, 3D bow here. And then it's on. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's her tag. Yep, because it's like a tag and then it has the little ribbon at the top and she's put that little guy on there to be cute. So this is the tag. So it has a lot going on with all that rosette and that 3D bow. Really sweet. And then these are her bows. I love the bows with that uh, background of the um, bat. I just wasn't going to get them in time. So she has those there. And then the little bow topper and they're layered up. I don't know if you can see some of these have like double layers with the bat in the center or in between them. And then that one has like little beads on it. These are her die cuts, really pretty and layered up there. And then she has like a little cat and some leaves and golds and like really rich kind of browns. And over here, oh, she has a little um, glittery pumpkin and the purple leaves and the little white ghost there. You can see them there. And then this is her case, super sturdy, uh, decorated. Look at all the inking and everything. And then here she has um, the little uh, bats. Oh, so cute with the little tassel and beads over here. Really lovely. So I'm going to package this back up. Thanks for joining us again, Rhonda, and I will hey be guys, right back. It's actually morning now, so moving right along. I have another one here from Rosemary Por uh, Porter out of Atco, New Jersey. And she also was able to get three in here. Eh? Very good. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Thank you for sending one for me, and it has my name on it. So as you can see, they're all the same here. I think that might have slid out. I'll try to get that back in there. Um, so let's open it up. Thanks for joining us again, Rosemary. Oh, sorry. Oh, these are cute bags. Okay, I just poured it out so some things just kind of popped out here, but 
since this is in my hand, we'll start with that. Look at her mix. How cute. It's very Halloween-like. And the top, there's like little veneer leaves and then and different colors. There's like, I don't know, you can see the little stars. There's like rhinestones in there. There's sequins. See, there's other sequins shapes. in there. And there's like little flowers, different colors, sequins. All kinds of things going on in there. Really sweet. I love the little violets in. Um, and then here's her uh, memo pad. Again, that nice little three inch pad there with a hocus pocus on the back. Oh, a little sticker with a um, paper, pattern paper. That is so cute. I love the way this one opens. I love Halloween with little Boo and little family. <laughs> so cute. And here are her die cuts and a nice a little organza bag. And I'll open it up since this one's for me. We have different die. Oh, this feels really sturdy. Hmm, what is this? It feels very thick. Um, but look at that. So a little glitter there. She has a little hat with a little buckle. We have a little um, spider web. Some ghosts. Some cute little like, jack-o'-lanterns. I think those are layered up. A little ghost there. Oh, that's beautiful. Stamped and embossed. And then some other little doodads here. Oh, so cute. Thank you. And as you can see, she used... Uh, well, we'll look at the box in just a minute little decoration which is like a little rosette that's like little flowers that are like stitched up that is adorable oh my goodness i'm gonna use the machine for if those are homemade excuse me in the morning i always get something in my throat um an ultra paper clip with like little skull on there and the two bits and on the back she has like a little orange glitter with a little flower look how cute these look on here oh my goodness so i you can see in the back the back of the boat has been embossed so you can see it there i just so that you'd be easier for you to see from the back. And then the double layered up bow with that little glitter center. Very Halloween-y. Very nice. And then this is her tag. And it's just Colors of Fall. And it has a little jack-o'-lantern and rhinestones and layered up paper there. And how cute is this? Oh, I love him. And she has lobster claws on both sides. That's really cute. And then the little um, owl there. And the back of there. It has a little something. And then uh, this is uh, her box itself. As you can see, it's all decorated up with all kinds of different extra little things here. And then she has a little dangle here too. Very simple with a cute little um, leaf and a little cat. And a little owl. Oh my gosh. So cute. Rosemary, thank you so much for including one for me. Let me open this up right quick. Look at that. Six inch card. Full of thanks, especially for you. And the back is handmade by Rosemary 2022. And then there's her postage. That is very sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Thanks for joining us again and for including a swap for me. Very adorable. I'm going to put this away and I'll be right back. From Loranda La Flame. And let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's La Flame or La Flamme. Something like that. Okay. Out of uh, Whitefield, New Hampshire. And this is her first time with us. So thank you so much for joining us, Rhonda. Uh, okay, happy following swap, one for VNA. So you can see she has these others here. She put a little protection on, so I'll just leave those like that. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining and thanks for sending one for me. You guys, I have been loving this, it's so fun. Look at this card, how cute is that? <laughs> Love all the colors, really, really sweet. Uh, very fun swap. Aw, thank you. And then she has her postage in there. Aw, so sweet. Thank you so much. Sorry. Ah, okay. So let's open this little guy up. <laughs> number one. So it's on there. And it says swap number one was for me. So I will open that. Aw, how sweet. So on the outside she has a little ribbon there. I can see right away. So let's open this little guy up. A little note. Oh, Thank you. I'll read that to myself in just a minute. I want to see what's on here. A little tag. Or like a little, just like a little insert, something cute. That's what it seems like. And this is her little three inch memo pad. And she has a nice and uh, closed up, so I'll just leave it that way. But on the outside is another pocket with like those little tab uh, uh, memos. That's really cute. And then she has a little hat here. Aww. Love it. And then, so it looks like it's folded over there. And this is her handmade tag. With cute little pumpkin, little boo, and the little um, uh, ghosty there with a the little tool. A little strip of paper there. And these are her rosettes, two rosettes. Um, and I think they're layered up there with the little um, 
cute pattern paper in the background then like orange and gold paper there with the little bows that are all layered up those are three layers of bow super cute this is her uh, sequin mix um just adorable look at the little stars you know i could i don't want to open it because i don't want it to fall everywhere but you can see it's um like pastel kind of purples there's like lime green in there and like gold and like tube beads maybe or something that looks like longer like a tube um larger like beads all kinds of things going on they're really really cute thank you so much and let's see if these are a set of die cuts and it looks like it's the words party boo see b-o-o -O. i know it's backwards there but in black letters i love these little envelopes thank you so much and a little altered paper clip with a little bat on there it's a little cutie okay and then i suppose this is her third rosette it's a big big boy <laughs> as you can see there really cute you know that pattern paper and that layered up bow <laughs> this is so cute so it looks like a little um like a little uh, decoration, if you can see on the top, it has like um, a beaded top, so it hangs down off of that with a little skeleton and a little character. And look, he has like a little bow on his head, <laughs> the skeleton. That is really sweet. So thank you, she just included that extra. Um, and these uh, are probably the rest of the die cuts. So we have layers of bows, we have tags. There's like this cool kind of swirly shape in there. She put this nice piece of paper in there to hold some things nicer like this and we have a little window and the word hello it's like holographic and she included a green pen nice little green pen we love that for Halloween and then again she has that um, uh, ribbon on here the word pumpkin and then cute decorated in the back of her box it's handmade okay so let me pop these things back in and i'll be right back thank you so much rhonda for joining us and I'll, and for sending one for me and i'll see you right back in just a second okay, this last <laughs> one is from diane curtis now she has i think her case swap also in here i didn't so i want to make sure i'm grabbing the right thing i may or may not be um okay i'm not <laughs> those are for the case swap so that's that Oh, sorry. You know what? Let me sorry take a moment. That. I was just making sure because she sent quite a few different things. So, um, this again is her following swap, and uh, Diane's out of Maryland. So, um, as you can see, hers is more fall looking. Let me pop that guy back in there. And this is the one for me, I suppose, because I think, yeah, it's taped on there. So, let me open this up. And I think this will be the last one for this session because i already offloaded the stuff from last night and that was like 45 46 minutes worth of video so i'll add this it'll be like an hour and then we'll keep going okay um how cute oh my goodness <laughs> look at this little face that is adorable thank you that's that diamond press the uh, window really really cute oh thank you diane yes so she has her um postage in there to cover both swaps because she is in both and was uh, on it to send both of them in by the 5th which is awesome and early even because these came in earlier thank you so much I know a couple of you guys did that which is amazing I'm still finishing up my second box swap it was easier when I did this one because I did them both at the same time and um, I just had you know my bows to finish up but uh, on the other one I did a one complete one and I have not completed the other one so I have a few things I need to finish up for that Ah, but you, well, I guess it depends on when you're watching this. It might be too late. I was going to say, just recall you got to send them in on the case swap by October 8th of Saturday. Um, super sweet. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love the little shaker on the front there. So I'll just grab this little guy since he's already right here. And it's just a little note. That is so cute. I love it with her little info. Um, and then she has like a little scene here. We got the pumpkin uh, in the little patch there with some rhinestones, a little frame around it, and then closed up with a little tie. And there's her little three inch memo. Super cute. Oh, I love these. I don't think I've ever seen white memo pads. That's lovely. Like, I can't recall if I have ever, ever seen that. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Um, and then her handmade tag with her cute little pumpkin. I think it's a diamond press pumpkin with some little sprigs. And then the cute, I love the way she followed the uh, line there with uh, rhinestones. I'll have to remember that because whenever I do, I always do them in threes. I used to do them like doot, doot, doot. And now I'm doing like a little more sporadic in three, though. Um, I'm always looking for other ways. I love the, the look of that. That's really cute. Thank you. Oh, look at her mix. Very fall. Look at the little leaves in there. These are like little maple leaves. 
Oh my goodness, and butterflies, and hexagons, and squares, oh squares, and sequins, all kinds of different uh, beautiful holographic um, glitters in there in her uh, shaker mix, and she's very fall and lovely, I love it, thank you. Uh, ooh, okay, well I already grabbed that. So let's do her bows, aw, how cute, so she has some layered bows and different textures of uh, paper and things and pattern paper this one's a little more simplified of that guy and then this one which has um, just a different style with the little tails how cute looks very fall so sweet thank you and then these are her die cuts and you can see right in there so I'll just show you oh, I love the little enamel dot there so she has some sprigs in there look at the topiary that's the spellbinders one how gorgeous is that I mean now you've inspired me to bring that up. that's I yes <laughs> so cute um, I see some other pumpkins back here the word fall some sprigs like a sunflower that she layered up really sweet thank you and then her box she included a, um, I would say a pen a pencil <laughs> with a little flower on top and then it looks like a hidden altered paper clip up here that's also part decoration and you know serving double duty how cute is that look at the little car or truck oh my gosh that's interesting. It's like a plastic material. That is so cute. And the little pumpkins. Those are like Jolie's, Jolie stickers. I feel like I have those pumpkin stickers somewhere. So adorable. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diane. And um, thank you all for joining for right now. This um, is the part one. And I will continue on every day with uh, part two and three. Uh, it'll probably be three parts. I think the second part will probably be a little bit longer. Um, however whenever the more bulk comes in but this is a quarter of them already so just over a quarter of the entry so all right guys thanks so much i'll see you at the next one thanks everyone bye now